in this case of Kokoji Mega that, that we are seeing, we have here the Uchimo Uchideshi Karusan, Sensei Banya, and Shiboshi Luis. So now we may take a look at uh, this case, this scenario in which there are two of you, and then there is Sensei Daniel here as the foe, as the enemy. So let's say that he will try to do a draw and try to cut you or to pierce you, but he first has to draw in any case. So what we can study, what we can see is that as he uh, focus his attention on you. Okay, so we have Shidoshi back there that will hook his arm, his right arm, and then restrain his movements. And so what um, what this study can teach us, it may teach us that you can act tuned, you know, together in synergy for one purpose. And so since you are in one axis, you can move in such a way that it's quite difficult for him to defend both of you at the same time. So let's see. He will just he will try to gain some space to enter to invade your Y, and just before he will he will drop. We have here Shidoshi Luis, and he's doing very slowly because this is Amaroyari. This is made of iron, of steel, so it may cut, it may hurt. So this is performed very slowly. So he has just hooked his right arm and uh, restrained his primary movement. So you could already try to cut him. However, he may still he can still move, he's not fully restrained. So what Luis may show us is in the theory of Tokujime, exactly, he has one more degree, or one less degree of freedom of movement. So from here you could, for example, with your sabaki, find your best angle, and uh, you know, he has just exposed his mune, you know, his, his neck, his ribs, so, you could, uh, you could go for such angles. You could also have his so cable here. All angles in which even that, even if he was using an armor, he would have these angles exposed. See? So in this first technique, in this first study, uh, since, since this is a method, Shidoshi Luis has his right arm. Now let's see, for example, in the case that he will try to hook this area, whether shoulder or, or, or clavicle, so he would uh, first try to gain some space over you and draw, but just in that time, in the middle of that time, listen to it, exactly. I would just assist Shinoshi here if you allow me, so it won't touch. And uh, since Daniel, since we have a live, uh, uh, a live point here, a live uh, blade, so it would pierce. Of course, we could see that it uh, it could pierce through his body, but uh, considering the armor itself, it would hook you know, uh, in the armor. So once he has restrained his movement here, even if he tried to draw this, it would be very difficult for him, you see? So from here, for instance, Koshulis could bring him, exactly, get closer to him, and then restrain one more time. I'm just holding here, so there is no, no danger of no risk of, of piercing him actually. And then you, uh, in this case, he has opened the yeah, stole or a dogiri or sokebu. You see that neck here. You could uh, go for a kesagiri. However, it is close to, yeah, to the to the blade of the magoyari. So Luis in this case would still could still bring him down to his knees. I will actually hold here just a bit. Very nice. Well, so here he is, for this, uh, for this matter, fully restrained and, and, and do not move or draw any kind of, of weapon. Okay? But there are still interesting angles, so let's see. Let's say now that, exactly, you are in a, a larger Mahai, suppose you are a bit further great. So, as he will try to gain space, you know, maybe he'll put his, his torso or the right of his body ahead, and so avoiding the chances of mistake, Shidoshi Luis will show us how he will perform by going to the legs or the ashi, you know, and then you're hooking here. Yet he'll do slowly because we're talking about a light blade and uh, we do not want to see his say, you know, hurt in any case. So he will try to gain space, exactly, very slowly. There it is. We do know the power of the Magoyari, Shidoshi Luis could easily uh, take him down and uh, injure his, his Ashi here, but uh, he'll do it slowly. Okay, I will just assist here. 
very nice. Okay. So we have this case, exactly. Well, it's pretty easy to see that you have plenty of um, targets and spots here. Uh, this does hurt a lot. And he's facing down, so uh, there is a very a minimal chance, a risk that he could draw effectively. And uh, of course, considering the moment itself, it is quite difficult. You, know? you could easily draw and cut. On to some other case. We went to shoulder previously, right? Clavicle. But now we could go for neck itself. So, <coughs> suppose you are in a, I don't know, maybe a close quarter situation, even more. Let's say that you will go for a tail key. And, uh, well, you are in a close quarter situation. So, his attention is quite focused on you. you know? He has to be fully focused as a driving situation in a car. If it is fast, you have to be you know, uh, paying full attention to that. So it is easier for him to get closer and to, and to catch him by surprise. Let's see. When he moves, and he moves, which means he's, quite, um, he's watching quite closely uh, his shoulders, his elbows, and his head, because he's looking from behind, right? So you would see, uh, on the other hand, his hips, his chest, his shoulder, and of course, in your peripheral vision, his, his hand as well. And so, with this in mind, which Luis may, may show us, he uh, Luis would, as far as I say, uh, Daniel would try to do a Fatemo key, for instance. In the neck? Or in, the in the neck. In the neck. In the neck. Cecilia Luis. Exactly. It is quite difficult for him to move in here. I'll just assist Cecilia Luis one more time, if you excuse me. Here it is. Well, there. It is quite easy to see that this is a very uh, dangerous angle. Here it is. You already have yeah, all yeah. the angles for exactly for Tsukate, for Burgundy, for yeah. uh, 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 any kind of draw that you would want there. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this single position, which is, is is continuing, in this single position, he is quite trapped. You know, he can't move, he can't spin, he can't. It is quite difficult to evade. So. If we just uh, ask you, ask uh, this to, to show to the cameras, exactly. There is this loose angle because I am assisting him here, but once he really hooked, it is quite difficult for him, you know? Uh, this study is, for this reason, this study is reserved for the, well, say, the higher graduations in the sense that it, um, someone could easily injure someone else here. You know? sure. Uh, we could go, for example, uh, over ribs in another uh, uh, meaning. Say, for instance, that he has stepped further. Say, suppose he has tried this score for a Chimonjino key or for a Yokon key, but he has exposed his ribs exactly. So let's see. Once he tries to enter deeply to make a draw, exactly. We have ribs here. I'll see it one more time. Now we're doing this very slowly, but if you imagine this light blade piercing through the armor or even ribs uh, um, it itself violently with his hara uh, rooted down, you know, it could be difficult for him. Now, once he has restrained here, exactly. It seems great. Let's show to the cameras. Very nice. Now, in this angle, on the other hand, you want, you probably want risk a bogiri, although you have this part um, exposed, you have your your shidoshi, your uh, your partner here. Um, so you, you could go for kubigui, wasoki bogiri, they're always, it's important to see, I mean, your role here would be to be, um, to be careful about what are your angles, your further angles, so there is no mess after he got the hardest part done. That's it, you know? That's <laughs> yes. exactly okay. okay. Well, so, okay, so this was the Dokojime that was performed um, with uh, two persons on one side and one foot, and uh, performed with Yari and uh, Tsukenshi. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.